Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Anesthesia Tech. Now we're going to discuss the difference between Atracurium and Cisatracurium. Before going to the video, I have already posted a basic explanation video of muscle relaxants. If you didn't watch that, check out the video. The video link is in the description. Let's get on to the video. Atracurium Atracurium has a structured mix of 10 isomers. But cis-atracurium has a structure with a pure cis isomer. All non-depolarizing benzyls a quinoline muscle relaxant has histamine release. So this atracurium also has histamine release and causes hypotension, bronchospasm, and tachycardia. This makes atracurium a cardiovascular unstable agent. Whereas in cisatracurium there is no or minimal histamine release. This makes it has a cardiovascular stable agent. Atracurium is metabolized by Hoffman's degradation. By Hoffman's degradation, it produces a byproduct called laudmacine. This laudmacine can cause epilepsy. But, this happens when we give a higher dose. Now coming to the dose, atracurium dose is 0.5 to 0.6 mg per kilogram. Dose of cisatracurium is 0.1 to 0.15 mg per kilogram. It is 5 times more potent than atracurium. This less dose produces less byproduct laudmacine. So, the chance of epileptic is less when compared to atracurium. Okay. Friends let discuss the chief advantages of cisatracurium over atracurium in short. Cisatracurium does not release histamine and laudmacine production is 5 times less than atracurium therefore it is always preferred than atracurium. Okay. Friends, that's all about today I hope you all like this video. If you like this video please click the like button. These likes can motivate me to do more videos. Also, subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.